tragedy strikes a Missouri family who will never see central Nebraska the same way. That roadside attack was the worst day of their lives, but now they express gratitude for the helpers. Steve White has been visiting with the family of the couple attacked at a rest area and you actually Steve, you have some good news to share. We do. It's nice to be able to report that Mary Weaver is home now after she was discharged from the hospital this weekend. Her family expects a strong physical recovery. The mental toll they say will be a journey. One they say they're glad began here in Grand Island. This is really messed up. They've experienced the worst of humanity, losing a loved one in a vicious and seemingly random attack. I mean, this is the most awful thing that I could ever, any of us could ever have experienced. Victoria Udy wants Nebraskans to know she doesn't hold it against the state. In fact, she expresses gratitude. This just doesn't happen here. I mean, this, I just, the town is just so great and, and everyone is just so warm and kind. And it seems like, I mean, we just, we've done a lot of, we did a lot of just driving around just to clear our heads, you know, and, um, it just seems like such a sweet town. 500 miles from home on the worst day of their lives, the family felt supported. This is awful, but we're, you know, we're, we're sticking through it. We're just one step at a time sort of deal. And, and we've got each other. And I think that being in Grand Island really helped set the stage for um, that, that feeling of community and knowing that we're not alone. We realized what the situation was and it just broke your heart to know that they were just traveling through to go see their son and then tragedy happened. Nursing means providing comfort in many ways. Try our very best to remember that, that these are people and we go above and beyond. Mary's now home, her physical recovery progressing daily. Really, it's just the emotional recovery that we're focusing on. Um, that is going to be the biggest challenge. Victoria describes it as a journey as they try to make sense of what seems senseless. Grandson doesn't have a grandpa anymore and I don't have a dad and all those things. But, you know, from, from, from what we can tell, it really kind of speaks to the systemic issue in mental health across the country. And it's awful that it had to manifest like this in our family. Yeah. Now we've heard from some people who say they would like to be able to help. Family friends are accepting donations to help with expenses. You can find more on our website. The family also would encourage people to do anything that supports nursing more than anything though. Victoria says if you want to honor her dad, make some music, make someone laugh, but really just show someone some kindness. Oh, Steve, thank you for that report.